after four great seasons of Speaker of the Year, we are back with a bang. Speaker of the Year 2015 is bigger and better. This year, our theme is water. And today, we bring you some wonderful ideas from a new location. Will we get a superb idea or an amazing vision? Let's find out. The first round is a personal interview. It gives the student a chance to get up close and personal to express his or her views. Uh, what do you understand about water pollution? So, you know, if I give you the responsibility to reduce water pollution in your own society, what all things will you do? What is your take on water conservation? Um, we can create motivational drives to uh, make people alert that water is a depleting source and we just need to conserve it. As a nation, I think that uh, the government is already doing many awareness programs for that, but the message is not uh, reaching the common people of India. We cannot use any type of water as uh, only some amount of water is fresh and more of it is saline. So we understand that it is a precious source, but we don't treat it like that. Okay. So Ishant, uh, you know, if I give you, so if I make you the prime minister for one day of yes. India, right? So what all measures will you take to reduce so water see, pollution? First of all, like uh, I work on the footsteps of uh, Tamil Nadu. In Tamil Nadu, water harvesting has been made compulsory. So I'll order the entire India. Like I'll uh, make them compulsory that there should be rainwater harvesting. I'll give them a particular day that by this day, the rainwater harvesting should be done in each and every house. Like uh, rainwater harvesting goes from forms like low cost rainwater harvesting, medium cost, high cost. In low cost, they can be like uh, we can put a cloth on the uh, shed from where water is being collected and it can be collected in a the bucket. Then medium cost rainwater harvesting, then high cost. So I'll make it permanent and those who want to live, uh, want to live in this country will have to follow that. Okay, Prati, so you know, uh, I want to understand from your side that if I ask you, if I give you uh, a duty or a responsibility of reducing water pollution in your own society, yeah. what will you do? So first of all, I would check that uh, all in my society, all the all the pipes and the leakage is proper, so that there would be no wastage of water. Then, uh, if I'm living in a society, then uh, uh, most water is used in the festival of Holi. So I would prefer and I would make a point that most of the people play with the gulal, not with the water. Okay. So Samar, yes. uh, if I give you a super bar for one day, yes. Which super bar will you select and yeah. how will you use it to, to remove or reduce water pollution? Okay, I think uh, the super power of controlling minds actually okay. and uh, setting them according to me uh, because I think everything that happens in this universe and this world particularly is the product of human thinking and mind. So it is about changing the people's perspective about waste management and water. I, I'll use my super power to like shift their mind on like valuing water and not thinking taking it for granted and if they come to know the value of water and the co upcoming consequences which are near in the near future i think they'll start uh, they'll start some water efficient activities and start putting water efficient appliances in their houses apart from some wonderful ideas we also witnessed some great talents So, Kavya, how has your experience been about Speaker of the Year event? It was amazing, means we enjoyed a lot and we got self-confidence. It was uh, really nice. It added some and substance to our uh, knowledge base. So, uh, Sabia, how was your experience for Speaker of the Year? It was very good and I enjoyed it while speaking. And I learned some skills also from everybody. And uh, I am happy with it. Were you feeling nervous before the personal interview? Yes, yes. And After the personal interview, I was very relieved. So, uh, will you feel less, less scared now facing the camera? Yes. That's great. The second round is the speak shoe. 
where the students express their ideas in front of the camera. It is estimated that there could be no drinking water in India by 2040 and yet we continue to let 65% of our rainwater go into the sea. Half of the Indian population does not have access to safe drinking water and 4 lakh kids die every year due to waterborne diseases. Safe water can only be ensured when one can be guaranteed access, sustainability and equity. It is time for us to keep people above profit, need above greed. Why we need to learn everything through experience? Why our realization for a mistake is momentary? Why we forget that we need to conserve what has been bestowed to us? Did we ever introspect the repercussion of no availability of water for 24 hours? The only answer is to play a blame game. Politician, government, management, we hold them responsible. Water conservation was being avoided earlier. But now, this problem is staring us in the face and there is no turning back. And we youngsters, as the future, need to conserve water. Wow, those are some fantastic ideas we just heard. I'm wondering who's going to get the coveted title. Who do you think has won this title today? And that person is Saman. Contribution to the wall of thought from this location is Even I'm excited to find out the new ideas from our next location. So stay tuned.